I'm making this video in response to a query on the Modo forums where a user was having some difficulties snapping a specific point on an imported reference onto another point uh, on an item that was already in the scene. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate how you can do this using the automatic action center. Now the key to doing this successfully is to understand how the automatic action center works. So I'm going to go to action center, set it to automatic, and then I'm going to hit W to activate my move tool. Now normally the way that you set the automatic action center is you click at a point in space and the action center will move at the intersection of that point and the work plane. So you can see that it's, uh, that's exactly what's happened if I click here it will move to that point on the work plane. Now uh, obviously the work plane can move around a bit uh, so normally I would just hit page down just to center the work plane and then um, then I can move my action center pretty accurately but here I'm going to hit N to reset the work plane because I'm not going to work with the work plane in this case I'm going to use snapping instead. So I'm going to hit F11 to bring up the snapping popover. I'm going to make sure that only vertex is selected and I'm going to activate snapping and then hit escape to dismiss the popover. I've still got my automatic action center selected. I can see it here on the uh, properties in the left, but you can double check if you want just by going to action center, making sure that it's ticked. And so now if I activate the transform tool, I can simply snap it to any of the vertexes in the active mesh. And as long as select through is not active, I can also snap my transform handle to any vertex in inactive meshes. Obviously if select through is on, this isn't gonna work because as you uh, click on the inactive mesh, it's going to select it as well. So you can easily check this by going to your lists and making sure that in your tool pipe, select through is not active. And so since it's not, I can easily uh, snap my transform handle to any vertex in the scene. So I'm going to select this particular vertex here. And so the key at this point is basically to make sure that once I've got my tool handle snapped onto the vertex, not to move the action center. Because obviously if I was to sort of try transforming from here, well that's not going to work as you can see because it's moved my tool handle. So it's very, very easy to do this. I'm just gonna snap my tool handle back. Just make sure that you highlight the actual uh, tool handle transform axes before you move. And basically you have to do this one axis at a time. So I'm gonna start in the Y axis. So I'm gonna highlight the green uh, part of the tool handle. And then I'm gonna start moving my mouse and I'm just gonna move it onto the vert. And you can see the blue dot appears, which means that it's snapped. And now I'm simply going to grab the, uh, the Z transform, make sure that that gets highlighted, start moving and then snap it onto the vert. And then finally I grab the X, the red one, and just move it onto the vert. And once I see the blue dot, I know that it's snapped. And if I just go to wireframe, it'll be really clear that, uh, let me just drop this and zoom in, you can see that this is indeed completely snapped onto the uh, cube. Now this is actually pretty versatile. You can you can do quite a lot of um, different transforms this way and you can also mix and match uh, different uh, snapping states. So I'm just gonna, let me just uh, undo all these operations just to move my cube back and then go back to advanced GL. And I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how you can mix different snapping states. So I'm going to hit F11 once again to uh, open my snapping popover and I'm going to switch from vertex to edge center and turn snapping on and then I'm going to hit escape. Now if I activate my transform tool once again, I'm just going to snap it to let's say the center of this edge here and then I'm going to open F11 and switch back to vertex. Hit escape to dismiss the popover. Now as long as I don't move my action center, um, as in I don't click outside of the, uh, of the tool handles, I'm going to be able to easily snap this edge center to this vertex by using exactly the same process as I did last time, doing it one axis at a time. So let's start with the Y axis, just snap it here. And then I'm going to start with the, or rather next I'm going to use the blue handle to snap it here. And then finally the red handle and just snap it right there. And you can see as I drop the tool and zoom in that that edge center has successfully snapped to that vertex. So it's pretty easy to do this. The key is simply that once you're using the automatic action center to make sure that um, once you snap your tool handle to the right place that 
you don't want to click outside of the tool handles themselves. So obviously this does mean sometimes doing things one axis at a time, but it's really efficient and it won't move uh, from the snapped point.